Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about negatives of the Pulsar RS 200. A very very dedicated video, dedicated to a lot of people who don't like the RS 200. So I'm going to give you three, sorry, that's just two, uh, three negative points of the Pulsar RS 200 after owning it for about one and a half, almost two years and 10,000 kilometers. First negative, which is a very very practical wala negative, is the ground clearance. This thing is a little too little for everyday use and especially with a pillion, it's horrible. I have mentioned in my videos before. So yes, you can adjust the preload at the back, but that's not the solution. As stock, the ground clearance of the RS200 is very less, even compared to the NS200. Let's look at negative number two. Negative number two, the seat on the Pulsar RS200 is really small. It is at a height, not as high as the rivals. But it is really really small even compared to the NS, compared to the N250, F250, compared to the Dominar. It is very very uncomfortable. I've done a dedicated video on what the pillion has to say about this seat. So go and watch that. Let's look at the other negatives. So the third and final thing that I want to talk about negative on the RS net is this. Look at this. Panel gaps. Here as well, here as well. These panel gaps are not acceptable, especially when you're paying about 2 lakhs for the motorcycle. And it's a mature motorcycle, it's been around since 2015. You cannot have panel gaps. I'm not talking about uh, the build quality, I'm talking about the fit and finish. The build quality is pretty good because I've had an accident on the RS200 and the fairing should have broken in that accident the way it happened. But the fairing did not break. There is no rattle from the fairing. There was no crack. It took it very, very well. There's no bend in the fairing mountings, nothing. But the fit and finish, you know, the, the last, it's the last two tenths that is required to make the bike completely good in terms of build. That is what the RS200 is missing. Okay, traffic. Oh, wow, that thing's moving. Oh, that looks so RR310 guy has completely missed the point on the zebra crossing and uh, yeah, I don't know if he's wearing the helmet right because I don't think he's strapped it on. Holding mirrors, not strapping the helmet on. Another jigsaw guy, 4-6, my god. Oh, the lights and all look so good. Festive time is on. I mean, Diwali is just gone by, but clearly you know, the festive mood is still there and I think uh, from Diwali, November, December, Christmas, New Year, so many lights, it's just amazing to see and amazing time to click pictures as well. So these are the top three negative points on the Pulsar RS200 as stock. Like you get the motorcycle from the showroom and you will see these three issues depending on your weight of course, some of it is weight related as well and some of it is if you ride with a plane or not. But they are very fundamental issues, very practical issues that are there prevalent on the RS200 as of 2022. And uh, yes, there are other motorcycles that will solve this issue for you. They don't have this issue. Uh, so do your research and uh, try and get a test ride. I know not every brand will give you a test ride, but try your best to get a test ride. So that is all for this video. Uh, always wear your helmet, like, share, subscribe and try to be safe out on the road. There are new people on the road every day, so I think it's up to everyone to be safe. I'll see you in the next one.